Hi everybody, this is a quick video to give you an overview of Skin Jobs, which is the first supplement for Neon City Overdrive. Skin Jobs gives you more information about the skins, the artificial bodies that a person can be uploaded into and inhabit. They're, these are described very briefly in the Neon City Overdrive rulebook, and there is a few trademarks to represent them, but this goes into a lot more detail. So this is the pod copy of the book, and I'm gonna make some comments about that at the end of this video. But first of all, let's do a really quick overview of what you get in the book Skin Jobs. It's a 22 page document, and it covers basically everything you need to know about these artificial bodies. It describes sort of the pseudoscience behind them, uh, the cultural impact of these artificial bodies, and that sort of thing, uh, and uh, some of the slang and that sort of thing. So a bit more setting detail to sort of beef out the Neon City Overdrive setting. Uh, it provides some rules for transference during games. So in Neon City Overdrive, it suggests that if you want to change your skin, do it between jobs. This provides some information on how you might do it during jobs, how long it takes, the consequences if you know things don't go so well, that sort of thing. So you can suffer transfer sickness and that kind of stuff. Uh, the book then has a bunch of uh, new trademarks. The trademarks are divided into three types. They're bioroids, androids, and theroids. Bioroids are your vat grown, cloned, all flesh and blood bodies. Uh, then androids are your artificial bodies, so robots basically, or cyborgs, that sort of thing. And theroids are once again flesh and blood, but they're in the form of animals, so that you could actually inhabit the body of an octopus or an ape or that sort of thing. There are a few more trademarks popped in there as well. So gene hacks are genetically modified people, and uh, then some other trademarks such as uh, skin job hunters and technicians and, and that sort of thing. And the book's then rounded out with a new job, so a mission for the characters to undertake. Uh, and that's it, and then obviously quick reference. Uh, overall, lots more detail about introducing skins, sleeves, other games might call them, other settings might call them. If you like the idea of that stuff, maybe consider grabbing yourself a copy either in PDF or print on demand. Now let's quickly talk about the print on demand book. Really nice, bright, shiny. This is premium printing, so I've only provided the premium printing option because the colors are just so much better than standard printing. In standard printing, the, the colors are just washed out. It is saddle stitched. So it's got staples, two staples, as opposed to uh, perfect binding, uh, which allows for a bit of a thicker spine and some text and that sort of stuff. Uh, now, it being saddle stitch has some flow on consequences. The main one being that there is an ever so slight white line along the uh, inside edge of each page. Now the reason for that is that when you upload a file for print on demand, you need this white space without any ink so that they can glue the pages together when they're doing perfect binding. But every document, every book that is premium and under 48 pages is automatically saddle stitched. So, uh, so we then, instead of having glue holding these bits of the pages together, we instead just have this white space. It really doesn't make any difference to your ability to use the book. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist and it jumps out at me a little bit. Um, every page in a pod is going to, every last page in a pod is going to be blank because they just have to put a barcode in there. Back of the book, as your quick references as usual. The other thing that I just wanted to quickly mention about uh, the print on demand is that I got three copies. I only ordered two, but they messed up the order a bit. Um, but I'm glad they did. I've got three copies sent to me, and they're all well and good. They're fine, except one of them 
is cut off slightly. Now, I think this is just the hazards of print on demand. But this book is actually, and it's a bit hard to show you here, this book is actually smaller than the other two books that I got. So something's gone a bit skewiff in the printing and cutting process. Um, it has no impact on the stuff on the inside at all. This The margins are still plenty big enough. Um, you can still read all the information here. It's just, and I wouldn't have even noticed it probably except I had it next to the other book. So uh, just be aware that print on demand is not a perfect science and uh, you could end up with a book where everything is quite close to the margins. But that's it. That's skin jobs for Neon City Overdrive. As I said, print on demand or PDF. If you like the look of that, consider picking it up.